Why is it important, though, to understand the difference between closed and open chain exercise when it comes to the legs? Because muscles function totally differently against an open chain as they do in a closed chain. What do my quads primarily do in a closed chain? I'm doing it right now. They're lowering me what? What brings me back up? So your hamstrings in an open chain flex the knee. In a closed chain, your hamstrings extend the hip, your butt extends the hip, so they're hip extensors. Your quads eccentrically lower you down. So what's happening at the knee joint when it's lowering you down? It is flexing or extending. Your quads control eccentric bending and deflection at the knee. So the reason it's important to understand open and closed chain exercise is because the muscles function differently in an open chain as they do compared to in a closed chain. And why it's the same applicability to the upper extremity. It's easier to understand with the legs. So you're classically taught that the quadriceps do what? They straighten out the knee. But what do they really do? Evolutionary, functionally. What do they really do? They control bending at the knee. So we take a step, that leg's forward, we hit, gravity tries to pull us down, the quad helps to slow down that transition towards the center of the earth, and then these muscles pull us back through. So closed chain exercise, the importance is to understand that muscles function differently in a closed chain than they do in an open chain. 